I'm just heading on that big green bus at the end of the road here. Today we're going to go to the Cuevas de Drac, which is the very famous caves that you find here in Mallorca. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I last came there when I was six years old. So I'm going to see if um, it feels a little different now that I'm so big and mature. <laughs> Come with me. But first, a visit to the Mallorca Pearl Factory Shop. Established in 1890, these precious pearls are actually man-made, combining glass with fish scales or mother of pearl. So a kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but pearls are a girl's best friend, kind of. Um, well, pearls are pretty close, I think. I actually like pearls probably more than diamonds. Particularly like these ones here because they've got a little sort of flower shape, and I like little flowers. But it's just incredibly simple. There's only a few little diamonds around the flowers, and then the main feature being these pearls. And it is completely timeless. You could buy these and then give them to your grandchildren, and it'd be like a thing that keeps getting passed on. Unlike natural pearls, these are all made in perfect formation. Now these ones are one of my favourites because. This necklace just speaks completely for itself. There's no other frills, there's nothing there. It's just about the pearl itself. And it's a very special pearl because these pearls here at Mallorca are actually the most precious ones in the whole entire world. Well, I think that's fine. Anyway, good old Audrey liked to holiday here in Mallorca, as I mentioned before. And uh, when you come here, you're getting the true breakfast at Tiffany Experience. Can't we, Audrey? Well, if it's good enough for Audrey, it's good enough for me. Simon, do you think I should buy some? Because I haven't got a necklace on today, and I'm thinking there's a lot lacking here, and it, and it might compromise what we're filming if I don't have them. Yes, definitely. Yeah, use the card. Yes. <laughs> So we now come to the Cuevas Drac. We've got quite a bit of a course, as you can see. Uh, we're just heading into the first cave right now. And um, I have been here before. I wonder if I'm going to recognize it all. It's going to get dark. Oh, we've actually known about these places since the uh, Middle Ages. The caves of Drac in Porto Cristo have been known about since the Middle Ages, when it was first mentioned in a letter dating back to 1338. Now the funny thing is that the minute I stepped into this place, I completely had a flashback of coming here when I was six years old. And to be honest, when you look at this, how can you not forget this? This is absolutely incredible. You know, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this was some sort of man-made film set for some kind of prehistoric dinosaur movie or something like that. But really, this is completely natural, absolutely no human intervention whatsoever. This is just what happens geometrically when you kind of <laughs> just let the earth do its thing. You know when you're having one of those really weird dreams that everything goes a bit strange and the world looks like a different place? Well, this is exactly what this is like. I kind of keep imagining that if I go down there, I'm going to meet some kind of strange mythical creature who's going to tell me the secrets of the universe or something. A playground for the imagination. These caves are 25 meters deep and four kilometers long. The guides just pointed out to us that we have some uh, prehistoric bacon here, as you can see. <laughs> this cave is full of wonders. It's an extremely imaginative place to be in. Got nearly slipped there. The wonderful thing about coming into this cave is that it doesn't matter what time of year you come here, the temperature will always remain the same. So right now it's about 18 to 20 degrees. So in the winter it's a warmer and in the summer it's a cooler. And right down there we've got such beautiful calm sea, or well lake rather. And it just looks completely untouched. There's not a single ripple in there. Lake Martel was founded by French explorer Edouard Alfred Martel, who came here in 1896. It's 115 meters long, 30 meters wide, and up to 12 meters deep. This whole area just looks like you've landed on planet Mars or something. It's very weird. You just feel like any second now, we're going to get some sort of spaceship that's flying around the corner. Completely natural formations from God, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago since time began I assume no one really knows this is what's exciting about this place no one really knows well that's not strictly true these calcareous formations are thought to have come together around 5 to 11 million years ago during the Miocene era 
but were restored in the 1920s and 30s for the public to enjoy. So we've just taken our seats for the classical concert that we're about to enjoy. Now unfortunately we can't film it, so you're just going to have to come in for yourself. We've just enjoyed an absolutely beautiful concert by the quartet here in the Cuevas Drag. They came along in the boat so it completely lit up on the sides and treated us to some pieces from Bach and many more. And it was a very, very special moment. It really felt like you were in this extremely beautiful, old-fashioned Hollywood film, very romantic. And now we're about to go and head out on some boats ourselves and have a little tour around the caves on the lake. And this was a moment I did the classic tourist thing of over-enunciating my English to other English people. Oh dear. You're English, aren't you? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> really stupid. Can tell by the language okay, as well. Be careful with the so, we've just gone and sat on the boat and we're about to take a little tour through the caves on here. Now, a little bit of free consumer advice for you. If you do find yourself here, sit in the first few rows of the classical concert because then you'll skip the cues. The air is really fresh as well. It's a really cooling effect actually, so if you come here in the heat of the summer, this will be exactly the place you want to come to to cool yourself down and have this moment of peace. I feel like I need to whisper, it's that kind of vibe. Very sad. I kind of want to touch all the spiky things. Oh, that's it. Oh. I was hoping we'd go underneath there. That'd be fun. 